Uh, to let everybody know, the Loma fight will not be happening uh, due to the fact that he's in Ukraine and they they traveled all. They did a ban on traveling, so he can't come back to the U.S. Um, we try to make a fight happen with Devin Haney. They haven't came back to us. Um, and top 15 guys in my in my weight class in, in my uh, division with the IBF. Everybody's usually majority of them are out of the country. Sucks. Espanol. Tank don't want to fight. Call by mistake. It's like, <laughs> I mean, this what it is. A lot of y'all, man, we trying to make these fights happen. I'm being dead ass. I'm being honest. We've been working. Um, and the fact that these guys don't want to fight, that they want a tune-up fight or they want something else, it's frustrating. We don't need no tune-up fight. If only you guys knew how it is when we negotiate and how difficult it is to make these fights happen. Spoke me and my father, my manager. We said, we can't fight Loma, let's make the Devin Haney fight happen. They reached out to Eddie Hearns. We haven't gotten a response back. These guys say that, these guys say they want the smoke, but they don't. Talking out of their ass. They would talk about it and we'd be about it. Back at Teofimo Lopez calls him a liar and denies his earlier claims that they sent an offer to fight. What up, fight world? Subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the super chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. Speaking of Patreon, head over there and join. Got some stuff that I will be putting on that side for the Patreons or hit the join button to become a YouTube channel member. The perks are virtually the same. And another great way to support the channels, click the link in the description, go to ESPN Plus, sign up for ESPN Plus, tons of original programming behind the scenes, exclusives and things you can only find on ESPN Plus. Get that as a standalone ESPN Plus app, or you can bundle it. ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus. All three of those apps, one price, $12.99. And again, it helps the channel in a phenomenal way. Now, I did a video earlier. Teofimo gave the bad news that his fight with Lomachenko is no mas, at least for the near future. This Rona and pandemic has halted plans for that. He basically described that Lomachenko's in the Ukraine right now and it'd be impossible to during travel bans and, you know, this uncertain global time to have his team and everybody come to America to make such a big fight. Again, I also think aside from travel bans, which is probably a reason that they, you know, might be able to get around. I think Bob Arum and top rank don't want to make, you know, such a good fight with Teofimo Lopez and Lomachenko with no crowd you know because you're gonna lose all that money that people would pay for in new york or wherever that fight was to go see teofimo to see lomachenko to see both of them right so i don't think that's a gamble bob aram is willing to take at least right now i think he would rather make some softer matches like shakur stevenson versus just somebody things like that see how it goes before scheduling any big fights now teofimo said that he's not fighting lomachenko next then he also said since the Lomachenko fight can't happen, he looked towards fellow American Devin Haney and he says his dad and his manager worked up some type of, you know, terms or whatever. And they shot it over to Eddie Hearns offering them a fight. And they said they haven't heard of anything back from Devin Haney's side, Eddie Hearns or Devin Haney. Now, I told you guys I could in that video where I talked about Teofimo saying that, I said I could not wait for Devin Haney or Eddie Hearn to reply to see, you know, 
if there's any truth to that so that's what this follow-up video is again you guys just got to subscribe to the channel check all the videos because I, I talked about the latest and greatest right this is what Devin Haney said on his verified social media he said don't forget I was already in the tournament with this clown he's talking about the WBC proposed a tournament that you know Teofimo said he wasn't going to be a part of if I'm not mistaken then he says, these fighters don't have the work ethic to beat me. I promise time will tell. What else? No, I know I'm missing one. Okay. Right here he says, Tiafima is a liar. And I'm starting to think that he's crazy because he actually believes these lies that he tells. And then he did like the Pinocchio emoji. Once again, he, he insulted his name. He says, Teofima is a liar. And I'm starting to think that he is crazy because he actually believes all these lies that he's telling. So he outright, he outright is disputing this and saying that's not even true. Someone said, so did you offer to fight him or not? Teofimo can't beat you. These are just fan comments right now. And then he had a follow-up tweet to that where someone said the person that said so did he offer to fight you or not and Devin Haney says never in life and then the person said damn he's capping on his live then huh bro that's tough I doubt he did listen I, I don't know I, I'm not I don't know but you know what what went on if, if they did send an offer but it, it seems a little bit fishy because what's the likelihood in a pandemic you know what I'm saying? And it could be Teofimo's team. It could be top rank or his manager or whoever. You know, I don't want to place the blame, but I'm just giving you my theory. It does seem a, a bit weird that obviously I just explained why the Lomachenko fight won't happen and it won't happen next because of the pandemic and travel bans. And I think it's a little bit deeper than that. But those are the reasons that that I believe. Right. So I get that. But so the next person in line for you to fight is is Devin Haney, which trust me, it's a great fight. You know, there's legendary things about what happened when they sparred, but most of us didn't get the pleasure of seeing that. So this would be a time to show two young guns at it behind the bright lights and see where they're both at. Both guys are, have exuded confidence and shown skills and stuff like that. But it just doesn't seem realistic that Teofimo's side would not get the Lomachenko fight, which is an in-house fight with Lomachenko, who's a top-ranked fighter, as well as Teofimo, right? And then fight Devin Haney and disrupt the whole lomachenko Teofimo from being rescheduled, pending the, the winner of Teofimo versus, versus um, Dev. That don't really sound right, because if that's the case, why didn't top rank make Lomachenko... If they didn't, if they didn't look at Devin Haney as a threat or whatever, um, to disrupt the plans, then why didn't they make uh, Lomachenko versus Devin Haney? Because then, if he got past Devin Haney, he goes into the Teofimo fight with more, more respect because Devin Haney looks like a handful. So if Lomachenko were to have beat him, if he were to have beaten him, then everybody would have no choice but to respect. Lomachenko's win over Devin Haney but the downside would be if he lost to Devin Haney then Lomachenko would lose his belt you know so I, I think to me that's a gamble that Lomachenko's team and top rank weren't trying to take with an outsider if Devin was signed to top rank maybe because then at least it would be an in-house fight and Bob Arum and top rank would be in control of whoever won the fight and what I mean is they would be they would have options and rights on the winner. But Devin Haney keeps calling himself the boogeyman. And I agree because you can't say he doesn't have a name. You can't say he doesn't have money. Look at the picture. And he's high risk because of his skill set and his ambition and his hunger. But at the same time, there's downsides to fighting him if you're not, you know, you're, you're signed to another promoter. Because if he beats you, then Eddie Hearn has a star and he goes back to the zone and rematch room and then you're stuck picking up the pieces so it sounded a little bit weird teofimo the very next person in line that they would contact would be devin haney like with a formal 
contract. It just seems like he's being fed wrong information or maybe more to the story. Like there has to be more to that because we haven't seen so far Devin Haney to duck anybody. You know, Devin looks like he's with the smoke. But Teofimo, to his credit, said in his Instagram live video, he said a lot of people, you know, they say they want to smoke, but they don't really behind the scenes. And I do know that to be the, the case as well, because I talked to a lot of fighters, you know, since I've been doing this. And there's a lot of people who have portrayed an imagery on social media that they're about about it, want to fight. But then fighters have shown me texts and emails and, you know, just giving me reference points and information about how that person didn't want to fight him or a fight, a potential fight with these two names came across the desk and then it was turned down for this and that and that reason. So I know that does exist in this sport where people will will say stuff to save face publicly, but behind the scenes and their selves and their team, you know, it's, it's a different energy. So I don't know. I don't know if there was an offer sent or not. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. It is a good fight, but I just don't see top rank saying, oh, okay, Lomachenko can't make it, so let's work with this dangerous kid. See, and this is the other thing. Top rank can't front on Devin Haney because they wanted to sign him. When Devin, when Dev turned 16, pro at 16, he was one of the younger people doing it, and top rank wanted to sign him. So they're kind of trapped they can't badmouth him and say oh he's garbage or who is he beat or this and that you know you can't do that because you wanted to sign him to your your roster to your label so all in all it's a good fight i don't know if we'll get a fight like that but we'll have to wait and see let me know who do you believe teofimo or devin haney dev calls him a liar teofimo says that a lot of these boxers are liars and they be capping for the camera damn who's that ring girl God damn. Um, yeah, so that's my comment. Let me know what you guys think. Highlight those links in the description box. Dev versus Teofimo. We're going to talk about it. The latest and greatest. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. So, I don't know. so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.